Bruce is back because every 50 episodes we feature a game with a shark in it. And that game today is Crash Dive for your Atari 2600 with some really awesome box art. Let's go ahead and take Crash Dive. Let's pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Crash Dive was published by Fox and carries a copyright year of 1983. It was programmed by Bill Aspromonte, who also worked on Pigs in Space, which I reviewed in episode 302. The manual opens with the following. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to score as many points as possible by destroying enemy ships, helicopters, planes, giant sharks, stingrays, squids, anglerfish, and lobsters before running out of fuel or crashing the flying sub. You may also acquire points by picking up the treasures that lie on the bottom of the sea. Crash Dive is a horizontally scrolling shooter for one or two players alternating, with the cartridge label correctly mentioning it's for one or two players while the back of the box says it's only for one player. The game only has one standard mode of difficulty, but the difficulty switches do affect the game. When the left difficulty switch is in the A position, creatures appear in a random order, but they appear in a set order when it's in the B position. When the right difficulty switch is in the A position, you can steer your shots while they move straight in the B position. For the game, you use the joystick to move, including pressing right to go faster and left to slow down, and hold the button to fire. You move faster in the air and can actually stop moving by landing on the sea floor. The goal of the game is to collect treasures found on the ocean floor while avoiding sea creatures, birds, helicopters, planes, and boats. Boats and flying enemies show up one at a time and will fire at you. Sounds play a big role in the game and will notify you if a bird, helicopter, or plane are heading your way next. You will also be notified if your refueling ship is coming up. You can refuel by touching it. The longer you stay in contact with it, the more your fuel meter will be filled. But be careful, you can blow up the refueling ship if you shoot it, and if you run out of fuel, you lose a life. Under your fuel gauge on the bottom is your prize indicator. The prize or treasure on the far right is the next prize that will be found under a group of indestructible mines. The prize to its left can also show up being guarded by a sea monster that resembles Godzilla. You cannot destroy the sea monster, but you can slow him down by shooting him. According to the manual, if you fill up the prize meter with six prizes, you will earn an extra life. Scoring wise, for shooting the plane you get 300 points, helicopters get you 100 points, boats get you 50 points, stingrays 200 points, shark 100 points, Points, anglerfish 200 points, squids 100 points, lobsters 25 points, shooting the sea monster gets you 1 point for every shot that hits him, and shooting a bird will get you nothing because you shouldn't shoot birds. As far as the treasures go, getting a sword gets you 200 points, a wine bottle gets you 400 points, a sunken boat gets you 500 points, the crown gets you 1000 points, the chalice 2000 points, the pot of gold 3000 points, and the key. 5,000 points. Graphically speaking, I thought the game looked pretty good, especially the sunset in the background and all the sea creatures. I also thought that the game had some really great sound effects, including the sound of the bird, the helicopter, and your ship diving into the ocean. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if it was released today, although at times I did feel bad for accidentally blasting a bird out of the sky. At the time I researched on eBay, including shipping, loose copies were going for $9 to $11, and one complete copy sold for $60. So what did I think of Crash? dive. Well first of all, this is a game that if you go full blast, you will probably die a lot, so I recommend a more deliberate pace. And on the surface, get it, surface, ocean humor, haha, <laughs> this game has a lot going for it, with some nice graphics, good controls, and some really great sound effects, but despite all this, I kind of found the game monotonous and boring. It was good enough for me to want to try to get all the treasures at least once, but once I did I had no desire to return to the game. So where am I going to rank Crash Dive? Well since this is a game I don't really plan to play again, this one is going to be close to the ocean floor. I'm looking near Sprint Master at 131, and since Sprint Master is a pain to control, I will put Crash Dive just above it. So out of the 162 Atari 2600 games I've now ranked, Crash Dive is dive crashing into the 131 position. Crash Dive is well made, but just didn't do anything for me. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please click like, subscribe, and follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter, and check 
check out some of my many other videos covering retro related video games, toys, mini arcades, plug and plays and more. At this time I'd like to thank James Campbell for supporting the show on Patreon. Thank you James. You too can help support the show, gain access to exclusive content, and be able to vote on future games I review by signing up at patreon.com slash gamer. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Gamer. Take care and try not to blast any birds if you can help it. <laughs>